Yo, 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 what's going on folks? Elva Geek back again, picking up with some more Dragon's Crown gameplay using the elf, L. So let's go ahead and choose allies. Uh, in the last video, the last elf video, I picked up another um, person that I can use, oh, yeah. which is the sorceress. So now I'm running with two dwarves and a sorceress. So I'm going to have a full party of four. There's been a whole bunch of people that were asking me about, you know, whether or not, um, you know, how it would run and, and frame rate and stuff like that. So we'll see. I definitely want to call him Liu Kang, by the way. Uh, let's see. I can't. I don't have access there. Did I just quick jump? Are you serious? I like that. I don't have to run everywhere? Yes, give me. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, so Hydland. Let's go ahead and speed that up for myself. Okay, Wallace's Underground Labyrinth. I'm probably going to need to level up, but since I have four players, uh, hopefully level five isn't this too crazy. Labyrinth is said to have been made in a single night with powerful magic. It is a uh oh. Nice. Come on, let me go. Oh, ooh, holy crap, that thing looks crazy. Okay. Wow, she's doing some serious magic work. I like that. I like that spell. Oh, a torch. Okay. Go ahead and work on that, buddy. Oh, treasure rank is E. I'll take that. Oh, shoot. Grab that arrow off of the ground. Oh, there's a ton of arrows on the ground for me to grab. Yes. All right, let me see. Can I pick up the torch? Give me the torch. No. All right, I guess it's not going to let me pick it up. Out of the blue. Oh, my God, the dancing mouse. <laughs> I love it. I can just sit here for a minute and just watch this. This mouse is freaking epic. I'm, I'm telling you, it's epic mouse. He was tasked with caring for the laboratory while Wallace was gone. But it is beset by malevolent magic users. When you ask about Lucane, the apprentice answers that his master's friend went into the labyrinth and hasn't returned. Uh oh, that's not good. Your quest to find Lucane is delayed as you attempt to liberate the lab for Ricky the Magician's apprentice. Alrighty then. The door to the laboratory is through this hall. Oh, yes. This boss is gonna. Give me that work, I'm telling you. I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Okay. Take that. Oh. Go ahead and open up that door for me, sir. There you go, Renny. Alright. Let's everybody grab some food. Oh shoot, I thought that guy was like not dead. Alright. That is one hell of a one hell of a thunder spell. Because the laboratory was being misused, some of the experiments Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Alright, so it looks like well, not even it looks like it. I can tell that these guys are coming from here. Oh, 
So let's focus on the fungus. Get them out of there. I'm not going to waste my arrows on these guys. It's going to give them the kicks. Oh, give me them arrows. There we go. All right, open up that door for me, mister. I swear I just hit that door. There we go. Open that up for me. Oops. Come on. Let's go. Still at 10 arrows? Okay. I'm using them too. That's what's funny. Ooh, you guys are dazed. Oh my god, that thing is ugly. Uh oh. Get the sack. Kill the sack. up getting them. Sweet. Get out of the way. Damn. <laughs> this dwarf is just putting in work slapping people up. Okay. Give me that. Okay, I'm full. Yeah, right. yeah, there's no reason to waste it on these guys, especially running with a party of four. Ooh. Okay, so I guess since I already have a full pouch. There's really no need for me to even go after that. The door. Oh, Doom Beetle. Oh! Oh! Uh oh. Okay, so I need to destroy these cocoons. Oh. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, no, 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 let me kick. Okay, it's going after the sorcerers. Get up there and get that. Alright. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's dodge out of the way. Full 10 now. Oh no! Damn it! <laughs> Total noobish. I should have uh, put some health in, but at least I get to come back. 
Uh, okay. Damn it. Oh, no. Let me move. So my defense tonic wore off. Nice. Took a few deaths too many, um, but we pulled it off. The bones of Lucane. Nice. The tattered raiments and jewelry leave no doubt that the corpse is indeed Lucane's. Sweet. All right. So that was a hell of a fight. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I almost got the next level. Oh. You bring back the bones of the magician Lucay. Nice trophy. Give me that. Okay, so hopefully I get some 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 good items out of here. Cause I just got my butt handed to me. Okay, so there's a new amulet. Ooh, I like that. It has four things on it. I can get with that. Uh, this has nothing. Okay, so let's appraise you. Grants immunity to burning, item degradation reduced by 22%. Yes, I'll take that. Uh, amulet, level six, B rank. Okay, I like that, let's go. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, amulet level four. I'll sell both of these. I'll sell you two. Doesn't have anything. Oh, it has defense, so I'll keep it. Seven defense, okay. So that's, that's nothing bad. Nothing bad at all. You found Lucane, but he was dead. You imagine the fairy will be overcome with grief, but you need to return to her. Okay, so let's not let's not turn his bones in yet. Let's see if I need to do anything here. When you enter the laboratory, the fairy frantically flits around you, as if it senses your uneasiness. Okay. Upon seeing Lucane's bones, the fairy enters into a panic. She begins tugging at your arm to get you to leave the tower. Uh-oh. The fairy is apparently attempting to lead you somewhere. You collect Lucane's bones and follow her. Okay. So I wonder if this is going to be like something new for me at the Canaan Temple. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. You nervously hand the monk the bones of Lucane. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. I wonder if this is like a fighter. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones is once again given flesh. Lucane, oh. shocked to find himself alive, thanks you profusely. He tells you to visit him at his laboratory and leaves. Nice. He's over there smoking on the magic pipe with circles. The resurrected magician has returned to the old tower in town. You decide to see him to ask more details. Alrighty, let's see what he wants to talk about. The magician Lucane is waiting for you in the laboratory of the old tower. It seems that dying had an adverse effect on his short-term memory. Lucane can't remember why he went to be Interesting. Once. Lucane is researching magic called runes, which are closely tied to spirits and fairies. Lucane introduces his fairy friend to you. Her name is Tiki. She left the fairy forest due to her strong curiosity. He thanks you again for saving him and allowing him to enjoy life's rich pageant. He displays his magic trinkets. 
Lucane says he'd be happy to sell you these items at a fraction of the normal price and answer any questions you have. Oh, nice. So I can buy new things from him. Uh, let's let's ask about rune magic. Yeah. Lucane says that he would be delighted to discuss this and launches headlong into a discussion about runes. Runes are magical letters that spirits and fairies carved into the world. You may have seen them yourself. Touching runes makes letters sparkle and float. Runes are a combination of three characters that create very interesting. Effects. However, runes won't work unless a spirit or fairy is present. That's what you gather from Lucane's long lecture. That dude has some hellified fingers. It, Tiki is following you around. She seems to have taken a liking to you. She will accompany you on your adventures henceforth. Fairies are known to be adept at finding hidden things. Nice. I like the sound of that. Give me a fairy to run around with. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video right here. She's telling me to go to a different tower, a different way. Um, well, matter of fact, no. Let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see what they're talking about before we do that. A letter from the castle has come to you via the guild. It simply says to report to the castle in uh -oh. all haste. Uh, let's learn oh, some wow. skills. You can talk later. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do the spacious quiver. I need that. I definitely need that. Give myself some more. Uh, use hold out dagger to produce a dagger with attack. Uh, uh, use spirit magic to attack. Activate by holding square. I don't want to add anything extra to that. Power shot, I have level one. Uh, quickly loose. Let's, let's go to common real quick and see what's in here. Uh, slide attack. Chance of taking down an enemy with sliding. Wealth to health. Money is power. Picking up coins adds to your score. Increases your max HP. Increases the healing effect of food. Uh, I'll come back and get to these later. Now I just need to figure out which one of these I want to use. Uh, use the salamander oil to grant an arrow to fire properties. Huh. Uh, let's let's go with rapid fire. Yeah, rapid fire. All right, so that is the end of that. Let's see the quest. There's a job. Nice. Uh, completing quests for our new valuable rewards. Sweet, sweet, sweet. A new quest has been added. I'm going to go ahead and back out here, though. Pick up those quests later. Um, yeah. You assume that the letter was sent by the Prime Minister. Perhaps he has another request for well, let's, let's go ahead and see what he wants first. Oh Count gosh. Dean is waiting for you at the throne room. It is he who sent the letter. After your previous encounter, you can only assume that he's up to something nefarious. You brace for combat. The guards have drawn their swords and are blocking the exit. Count Dean starts talking to you in a soft voice. He says that he has personally requested your assistance in performing a task for him. He wants you to scout Bilberon Fortress on the border. This underground fortress is a well-known structure. Originally built to defend against the Orc army, it now lies in Orc hands. Scout them and learn their invasion routes. It is a very dangerous mission, but refusal means that you will be at the mercy of Dean's guards. You accept. Per Count Dean's request, you agreed to infiltrate and surveil the subterranean fortress at the country's border.
All right, so uh, we picked up that part. I totally thought I was talking, but I wasn't, so it was a fail. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Stay tuned. I'm going to be switching and jumping between characters. Uh, but I think I might finish the elf first. And yeah, I'll upload the rest of those videos however they come. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned and enjoy. Peace.